Hey guys, welcome now. I'm Adam Kovic. And I'm Bruce Green. And for years, edgy teens have dropped the philosophical bomb that Christmas isn't a celebration of love and peace. That's bullshit. No, but instead, pure, unfettered capitalism. That's right. Those uh, greedy dogs, man, they don't love Jesus Christ. Jake's so cool. I like that guy. Well, Jake, boy, we're, this is taking a long time to get into the story. Yeah. Your totally awesome cafeteria sermons are now put to the test by online retail giant Amazon, and they're currently running a sale called Prime Day. Happy Prime Day, everybody. Hey, it's great. It's the most wonderful Prime of the year. So simply put, Prime Day is a conjured sale meant to celebrate Amazon's 20th anniversary mm -hmm. and incentivize Amazon Prime subscriptions, right. promising more deals than Black Friday. Yeah, the deals are only open to Amazon Prime subscribers, though. Like me and you and probably everyone else in this room. Uh, but Lawrence, why is everybody so upset? Uh, well, so apparently just saying Black Friday sends people into this weird Pavlovian fury where they expect to spend hundreds of dollars on TVs and yes. cars and yes. video games Absolutely. and music and cool shit. Yeah. Uh, except, uh, so people stayed up until the wee hours of the morning expecting deals on all sorts of cool shit. Mm -hmm. um, except that they were disappointed by all, all this kind of shitty internet junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's July. People in other time zones stayed up uh, extra late or set their alarms extra early <laughs> only to encounter groundbreaking deals on 24-inch, extra-long, handled shoehorn. Ooh! We need those. 4K, what? Uh, what do people do when they encounter a zero-world problem like being upset by deals on beard growers and a two-pack, multi-purpose balaclava? Uh, well, they rush to Twitter to fight for the snarkiest of comments. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So yes, the Twitter cup runneth over with running commentary on the event, uh -huh. uh, the best being accurate comparisons of how the sale feels. Uh -huh. At Dara Luce, or Luce or whatever, mm -hmm. describes it as being like when Grandma says, help yourself to the candy jar, but it has nothing but raisins and sugar-free saltwater taffy. Raisins are great! Who needs jokes? We can just hire these guys. That was a boom, Amazon yeah. boom. Uh, DJ Dad McMom says, <laughs> it's... MC Mom, but either way. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when your dad goes on a business trip and promises presents, but really, he just bought you coloring books at the airport. Oh man, Amazon's really getting boomed. Those are big booms. Big boom. And believe it or not, even Walmart is joining in the crowd cheering at Big Daddy on Blu-ray. What? And solar-powered LED console solar jars. What? What are these what things? What the fuck is that? Uh, so Lawrence, what's Walmart saying? They actually took a few jabs at Amazon a few days before the sale even started, so they got in early on making fun of Amazon. But basically, they uh, they said that, quote, this was in a blog post on their website, they said, quote, the idea of asking customers to pay extra in order to save money just doesn't add up for us. Boom! That was, that was very good, smug. Good Walmart boom. They should um, have so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In response to a Prime Day, Walmart announced, this again is before Prime Day even started, announced, quote, awesome deals this week that will be available for everybody with no hidden costs or admission fees, and they won't be available for just one day. All right, okay, I like that, Walmart. So in addition to these so-called awesome deals, mm -hmm. Walmart also reduced the cutoff for free shipping from $50 to $35. That's pretty cool. Uh, do they have a five-pound bag of Double Bubble 1928 original pink gumballs? Uh, do or a have... Mountain House Just In Case Essential Bucket? I can't, I don't know, I don't often... Where is, I don't know where the Walmart is around Walmart. here. They probably have that. Oh, okay. So what do we make of all this? Well, it seems that Amazon is getting really good at finding ways to make people spend money. According to a report issued by Consumer Intelligence Research Partners, Prime already has 44 million members. Holy shit! Yeah, at $99 per year, that's about 440 million a year in revenue, just on subscriptions alone. Dude. And sure, that cost like offsets all the two-day shipping that sure. they offer for Prime, but sure. as evidenced by Prime Day, it's actually more than that. Yeah. Uh, according to the same report, Prime members spend on average $1,200 a year as opposed to only $700 for non-members. So not only is Amazon actually making a lot of money with Prime memberships, but they're making people spend more money when they have Prime memberships on top of that. Yeah, and what's crazy, on top of all of that, uh -huh. they can even sell iPlay Baby Ultimate Swim Diaper. Whoa! And Kensington expert trackball mice Whoa! just by inventing a header graphic and throwing timers on sales. <laughs> Simply put, Amazon is getting very good at figuring out how to pry money out of your wallet. We're basically looking at the online ret retail equivalent of a Steam sale, yeah. except it's for a three-pack of Meguiar's uh, X2020 Supreme Shine Microfiber Towels and a White Chef Works Chat Chef Hat. Wait. Is that in Team Fortress 2? What the hell's a Chat Chef Hat? I don't know, it's a great deal, that's what it is! Oh, there's a premium electric mechanical pencil sharpener. Uh, there's the ABCs of real estate investing, the secrets of finding hidden profits most investors miss. How much is that? The Marineland right size cartridge refills. A six pack of Avion 12 digit dual power desktop calculator with tilted LCD screen. <laughs> it's fine, it doesn't matter. Avalon, oh, Please sorry. like and subscribe for more of this Amazon Prime bullshit. Telescoping shoreline marine boat hooks! 36 patch box Purina moist and meaty burger with cheddar cheese flavor wet dog food. <laughs> 